So we'll talk a little bit about why, why to integrate in the first place and uh, enhance your CRM with third-party integrations. If you guys were able to follow Raju's uh, keynote about integrations, he went over a lot of great interesting things about integrations, how we do it, how other companies tend to do it, and um, also the importance of integrations, right? And that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory a lot of the times, but we'll go over a little bit of that. We'll discuss our own CRM integrations, the, uh, the pieces that um, uh, integrate well with Zoho CRM. We'll kind of preview a couple of them. Uh, the contact info extractor. Uh, we'll also preview mail merge with MS Office, which actually isn't really a new integration for us, but it's still extremely popular for a lot of our customers. And then we'll also go over the Unbounce integration, which is a relatively new integration for us, uh, under a year old, and uh, wasn't available, I don't believe, at last Zoholic, so we want to show all the marketing folks that integration. And we'll also kind of go into maybe what, what's, uh, what's next for us on the integration front and um, where we're headed. So why do you need integration? Because simply, no singer vendor does it all. That's what Raju had mentioned earlier today was that there's not a particular vendor out there which uh, we're getting as close as we possibly can to answering this question, but there's not one vendor that takes care of everything that you need. With over 25 Zoho apps and a lot of them integrating together each other and then a lot of them integrating with third-party tools, like I said, we're getting really, really close and uh, we hope to be that, that uh, single point in some future. But as you can see, this is a slide I stole from him. There are a lot of vendors out there. This is just for marketing alone and marketing technology. I mean, I couldn't imagine the person that put this slide together, what their head feels like after they did that. But this is just kind of to show you the mass chaos that we have and all the choices that you have, some good, some bad. Uh, but this is the choices you have in the marketing field. It's equally as impressive, perhaps, in the sales technology landscape. You know, you have gamification, you have pricing optimization tools, you have uh, training and coaching tools, you have, of course, marketing automation and sales automation. Just all throughout the landscape, there's just tons of vendors to choose from. We hope that you choose Zoho, but a lot of times there are better tools out there for certain, at certain tasks, and we understand that, and we want you guys to feel comfortable using those without, uh, without feeling like we're force-feeding you guys Zoho tools. So the simple answer to why integrate, because it makes work faster, smarter, easier, right? All these answers are about why integrate. It's very simple. We want to make our work easier. We want to make it smarter. We want to make it more contextual. We want to get our work done faster so we can do more. All these are reasons why we need to integrate. And Zoho's goal we want to bridge the gap between your CRM tool or perhaps another customer facing application and your other business critical tools, right? So we want to be able to provide you guys with a central hub or home to get most of your work done and tie in the other tools that you use either sparingly or throughout the day, kind of tie it into your main hub. For sales and marketing folks, a lot of times the CRM is kind of your main hub. We want to be able to allow you guys to stay within that and still work on your other tools, and a lot of the integration points are in that fashion. So 50, I think we're closer to 60, but uh, I went ahead and put 50 down. Different integrations uh, with, uh, with other applications, right? So third-party applications, we're looking at over 50. This doesn't even include the Zoho applications, right? I had a guy on our team say, well, you know, he's a CRM guy, mind you. He said... Anything that's not Zoho CRM that plugs into CRM is a third party, even if it's another Zoho tool, right? So Zoho Projects is a third party to him, cons considering he's a CRM guy. What I'm talking about here are actually third party non-Zoho related vendors. We have over 50, close to 60 different integrations and all the ca categories you see here. There's a couple to show a little bit of a, again, another diagram of all the ones. So our, our portfolio of third-party integrations is getting just as impressive as those couple of graphics I showed you a few slides ago, right? And, uh, and that's potentially flattering for us. So we're, we're look, working really hard to integrate a lot of your favorite third-party apps. So the aforementioned person tells me 
hey, Mason, like I said, Zoho, any Zoho application that's not CRM is a third party. So I said, all right, I'll show, I'll show people in my presentation, I'll show them that, right? I'll, I'll, I'll play along with you. So how about those third party apps we were talking about? Well, I'm, I'm sparsing down a little bit and getting an easier digestible view here of our third party applications. Sales and marketing. We have a customer that uses a lot, uh, does a lot of website building, uses exclusively WordPress. He really uh, appreciates the WordPress integration with CRM. Just a number of things that we have available for you in the sales and marketing field. Wufu is another good one that we use. Unbounce, which we'll talk about a little bit here in a minute. Some of these, and just let me think of this. No, actually all of these were done not by uh, Zoho development team. These were all actually either partners or the vendors themselves that have decided to integrate with Zoho CRM. So we're not that type of vendor to sit here and say, if we don't build it, it can't be done, it's not possible. We don't you know, lock everything down to just our own development team. If there are vendors out there, or the partners, uh, or um, any of the likes that like want to build in with Zoho CRM, we're free game. That's why the API is available. That's what we talked about a little bit on the telephony side of the API integration. We're, you're open and willing to take any of the information need be. Same thing on the business productivity. Evernote, I believe, was done by a third party. We did Google Apps and all the Google ones there. We did uh, Office and Outlook. And Evernote, I believe, was done by a third party, or maybe it was done by Evernote themselves. I can't recall. When you have 50 or 60, it's hard to remember who started the conversation. Customer support, same thing. A couple of different vendors there. We kind of stop also, too. When we start developing our own tool, if we've got a little bit of developer resources uh, that are tied up in some of the things, sometimes they get shifted over when we're making our own product. Uh, so if you see, like, this category is a little short, we got to a point where we said, why don't we just build our own? That's kind of what we did. And then we go back and we say, well, you know what? Yeah, yeah, great. We built our own, but customers are still using other tools. So we go back and, and do some more integrations in that wor world. And that's kind of what we're probably going to do here in the service and support world is go back to those more popular platforms, integrate with those. You guys obviously see Zendesk isn't on there. It's probably a good one that we should probably consider uh, putting back on there. So it's kind of a fine line, of course, as you can imagine. Build your own, wanting that product to succeed wanting it to have success and, and pass along to our customers, but at the same time realizing that it may not be as feature rich as others out there that are really dominating the market. So it's kind of a fine line that we walk on uh, developing. But again, you guys have the input, right? So if you guys find that we, are sat we aren't satisfying a need and we have a particular gap, please let us know. Social media is a really long one, Facebook and Twitter. Um, obviously, the other social media platforms really don't play too well in the business world unless you're uh, um, highly B2C and you wanted to do some type of Instagram. I don't even know why we would do that in CRM, but there is a possibility, I guess. Accounting, we'll skip over there because again, we built Zoho Books, we built Zoho Invoice, we have a QuickBooks integration. Telephony. So we talked about this at length just in the last session. I won't get back into those details. You know, the scenario that you're in is you're already invested in Zoho CRM, right? That's your, that's your CRM of choice. That's your platform that you're building your, your uh, business around, essentially, and your, your sales and marketing efforts. But you're switching over phone systems, and you kind of want to know from us, you, give, you want us to give you an idea of which ones of these are stronger, which providers are better, these types of things. You know, we'll be, we'll be very cautious about our favorite vendors and our non-favorite vendors so we can be as completely uh, across the board as we can. But we can tell you, you know, how long our integrations are, how deep they are, things of that nature. And, and so what I would suggest is to have a conversation with our team, find out what works for you specifically in your business as far as pricing and all that's concerned, and come to us with a short list, right? Just come to us with two or three vendors that you've kind of shortlisted and say, hey, these are the guys that I really like. These are the per people that I've worked with and I've seen and the pricing fits for me and the model fits for me. Let me know if the integration from a CRM perspective is tight. I think that's the approach that we'd like to take with a lot of our customers. We've done that on several use cases uh, and, our, and our sales team and our pre-sales team for CRM is very well versed into these types of uh, conversations. So I think that's the best approach to take, right? Third-party integrators, 
that can build integrations based upon our APIs on your behalf. Zapier is one that does it really well. One SaaS, again, same thing. These are third, that's their entire business is to build third party integrations on the behalf of you for tools like Salesforce, Zoho, um, Zendesk, you name them. They take all the popular platforms and they build integrations on your behalf. So let's see a few in action. We had Ricky up here just for a second. Let's bring Ricky up again and we'll have him show the Zoho CRM contact info extractor. This one is currently available while he's pulling it up. This one is available on the Chrome Web Store. And it's a real simple integration, but it's a, it's a really easy, nice way to pull in information instantly into your CRM. To find the Chrome App Store, you open a new tab and then click on Apps, then click on Web Store, and you can search for Zoho. So here it is, it's free. Click on that, and it's gonna add it to the Chrome browser here. All right, so it's been added. So what does this do? So a lot of people are asking, how do, can I quickly add a lead or a contact from a web page? Right, so what this does is basically exactly that. So I can use this extractor to grab information from like an email signature. Okay, so let's say Samir or let's say Tejas sent me an email. What I can do with this is from his signature, I can highlight the information and I can click on this extractor and it will do its best to extract that information, right? And I'm just gonna add his last name here. So it does about 90% of it for you. It did parse the email address, the job title, phone. These are all your CRM fields. So now I can add Tejas as a lead or a contact directly from this email. I do that, it will show up in the CRM account that I'm logged into in about a minute or so. All right, so any, it's designed for the email signature itself. So if you get something that kind of looks like a signature, select all, parse it, and then send it to your CRM. But you can always do this and manually override it and type in whatever you want. So even if you're not on your CRM page now, you can type in information here and just add it as a lead. So I think everyone should add this to their, their Chrome browser. It's pretty convenient. It's a really nice tool, right? So. Uh... We're actually, we'll just keep you up there and we'll do the mail merge. So this is only for uh, Windows. So we don't have it on here right now. Um, well, what this is, I can pull it up in the CRM to show you. Um, this is just another way of doing emails. So traditionally, you can always click on leads or contacts and you can select all and send an email. There's an option to do a mail merge. So what's the difference here? So it can pull in fields like first name, last name, title into another application and you can use that to build the email template. So in order to find that, here are my email templates. These are used for the CRM and these are used for mail merge. I can use Zoho Writer to do this and that will work on any system or you can ha use the Office plugin to use this in Microsoft Word. Why would you use it in Microsoft Word and not Zoho Writer or not in the CRM template? That's all personal preference. Right? The other thing this can do that the mass email cannot do is give you a preview of what every single one would look like or if you want to print them all, it will generate all those emails individually and you can actually print them and you know, put an envelope and send them over to people. So if I click Zoho Writer here, I can choose the module to pull the fields from and this is going to look exactly the same in Microsoft Word. All right, so in Microsoft Word, this shows up under add-ins just like it does on Outlook. And over here, it's just gonna show up here at the top. So now I can use Zoho Writer to make an email template, right? So I can use all the Zoho CRM fields and I can insert it in here. Right, so if you prefer to use Word for all the different fonts and whatnot that you've added on there, just use that as well. And then I can type in the email. So it's just pulling in all those fields for you. And then when you're ready to, to be done, you can save it and it will generate all of those templates for you. So if I did high first name to 50 of my leads, rather than just sending it out, it generates all 50 pages and tells you exactly the data on there. So if you use the address, the name, the phone number. So you could print it out if you want to send a letter to someone, you wanna generate multiple letters with all that information filled in. So I think that's a really good use for it. Um, otherwise, 
The other use for it, again, is just to have more options if the template requirements are just more in tune with a word processor like Microsoft Word. So once you have that done, go ahead and save it, and you can send it out from here. All right? And then those templates will be saved in the Mail Merge Templates section of Email Templates. All right, so now I can come back here, and I can hit Mail Merge. So rather than hitting the Send Mail button, I hit Mail Merge, and it generates the templates and sends it that way. Yeah. Anybody still find uh, Mail Merge useful for either hard printing of documents or letters or also via email? Mail Merge is still a widely used feature of uh, Zoho CRM, and it's a nice integration, both with Zoho Writer, again, that quote-unquote third-party app, Zoho Writer, and also uh, Microsoft Word. So the next one we wanted to show, I want to show Unbounce, right? So there's some information on a web page. So Unbounce is a company out of, uh, I believe, Vancouver, and uh, they had approached us about doing a uh, integration with, uh, with Zoho CRM. And uh, so this integration may be a little bit tough to read, but ultimately you create landing pages in Unbounce, you send the leads automatically to Zoho CRM, and uh, you can instantly see where that lead, what, pay, what landing page that lead was coming from. And of course, more leads. Maybe that's the equation that you're looking for. If you want more leads, you, and it was in uh, test B versus test A, then maybe test B might be the right page. So it gives you more than just clicks, statistics, things like that. It actually gives you the information that you're really lear learning for, and that is um, you know, whether or not there are actually leads or contacts coming to your website. So there's a couple of instructions here. I've, I've posted them up here, but they're available on uh, our web page, which I'll show you that here in a second, so you can grab that URL in case you're interested. But a um, uh, great other thing about Unbounce is the uh, uh, no, no, no needed to code. You don't really need a lot of coding language in Unbounce, which is great. And uh, again, capturing leads, landing pages, templates in, in Unbounce, uh, campaign leads, these are all just kind of some steps to take, some features, A-B testing in one click, plug and play widgets, and of course the benefits of having Zoho CRM on uh, three and four on the right hand side. So that's it for me and the rest of my team and I really appreciate you guys uh, joining the session. Thank you.